Hey everyone, and welcome to my tutorial for getting started with Unity's in VR editor, simply titled Editor VR. The first thing you want to do is click the link in the description, which will take you to a page where you can download the Editor VR experimental build as well as the Editor VR Unity asset package. The next thing you want to do is open up your new download of the Unity editor, click Next, accept the terms of agreement, Next have to download the 64-bit version because VR headsets don't work on 32-bit windows and click next. Uh, leaving these three checked is fine. Next. Download files to whatever install folder you want. You can create a new folder for this. I just kept it as the same one. Next. And it'll start downloading. It's a pretty lengthy download, but once it's finished, just make sure that the Launch Unity button is checked and then click Finish. Next, you want to either create a new project if you don't have a project already started. For me, this is my VR game that I'm working on, so I'm just going to open this. When you open it up, it's going to look like the standard Unity 3D editor window. And from here, you want to go to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package, and then select the Editor VR.Unity package that we downloaded earlier and open that. Next, you want to click Import. After that's done, you might get this window, but just click Apply and you'll be good to go. Depending on if you want to work with the Rift or Steam VR, you're going to have to download some engine integrations, which I will link down below. For Oculus, you just want to find this right here, Oculus Utilities for Unity 5 details, and from here you can download and import into Unity. For Steam VR, they actually have a plugin on the Unity Asset Store. You just go to the Unity Asset Store, make sure you're signed in, and open and import it from there. If you have both the Rift and the Vive, and you've downloaded both SDKs but want to pick which one you're going to use when editing your game, simply go up to Edit, Project Settings, Player, and then in your Inspector window, you're going to have a little section called Virtual Reality SDKs. Whichever SDK you want to use, make sure that one comes first. So I only have an Oculus Rift, so I'm using Oculus obviously and that comes first, but if I had Steam VR and that was on this list um, and I wanted to use the Vive and the Vive Wands instead, then I would place that above the Oculus SDK. To start up the editor window, go to the top left and click Window, Editor VR, and this little window is going to pop up. It'll show your controllers as well as uh, what your headset sees on screen. And from here, you can step into your VR headset and start editing. My computer was having some issues filming the VR editor itself, but if you're interested in learning about how that works and the different tools and stuff and the basics of it, I've provided a video link in the description down below which kind of goes over that. Otherwise, if you're at all interested in my VR game, it's called Snow Ride, and it is hopefully going to be out by the end of December, possibly early January, releasing on the Oculus Rift first, and then hopefully onto other systems. It's going to be a pretty simple and fun endless runner done correctly, unlike uh, Temple Run VR. I see a lot of complaints about that on the Gear VR store, but I think this one is going to be done right and hopefully enjoyable. It's my first game, so I'm having a lot of fun uh, learning how to do it and actually making it itself. Anyways, you can check out the Twitter. It's at SnowRideTheGame. Everything will be linked below, as always. If this video helped you out, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. And if you want to see more VR and gaming videos, be sure to subscribe.